Okay, welcome to this next video in my series of uh, Introduction to Machine Learning. So, just a quick recap. In the previous video, we basically looked at a bird's eye view of what is machine learning. And the idea is that machine learning learns relationships in data using computer algorithms. It extracts patterns in the data, trends in the data. And the idea is to uh, to develop models that we could eventually use to predict new cases. The, the, the important idea is to be able to take these models to generalize to new cases, to new observations. So we take historical data and we build these predictive models that we could then use for future data for predictions. And we looked at an incredibly simple trivial example of predicting house prices using a single uh, input feature which was the size of the house so we we did a little toy example of trying to predict the price of houses using this just a single variable input feature uh, the size of the house okay now you may you may ask yourself but okay why what is the difference between this and traditional programming? So this, this video is, is just a quick overview of the difference between machine learning and programming or traditional programming. Okay, so remember, traditional programming, perhaps what we, what we learned when we, when we started programming, what happens there is we build rules using logic statements like if this, then that while this, then that. So it takes in some input, okay? And it produces an output using certain rules, okay? So again, it's like an if-then statement or while, etc. It's all these logic statements, these rules, okay? That govern. So what happens is you write a program Okay, based on these logic rules, and you feed input data into that program, and you get an output. Okay, so um, maybe you're trying to classify uh, whether a car, what type of car there is, what type of car we're looking at. So if it's if it's got this logo, and it's got that color, and this these number of wheels, etc., then it is this type of car, okay? Now, that is all fine if the problem is very simple, okay? If, it, if, the, if the problem follows very simple rules that you can actually code all the possibilities, okay, in your, in your little world that you're trying to, you're trying to predict. But what if you are trying to um, do very, very complex problems, like the, the Netflix problem from about 15 years ago, trying to predict what kinds of movies people would like. Or you're trying to predict whether, um, you know, whether you, what kind of stop sign you're seeing when, when the car is driving. Or you're trying to predict who that face belongs to. These are incredibly complex problems, and you can never define all the rules that govern um, your predictions. You can never write all the rules that could say that if you put in an input, would be able to give you an output, right? We could never do it. So what do we do? We use machine learning that instead of us writing the program with all these rules, we let the computer write the program. So we feed, we feed in the input data and output data and the machine learning, uh, the idea is that the machine learning then writes or develops the model. Okay. Which is the machine learning uh, model. Um, it's also called a learner. So with machine learning, we give both input and output data and the model is then generated and this model then is just is able then to to carry out 
um, these predictions for very, very complex cases. Okay? So again, what's the difference between the traditional programming? Traditional programming is we write the program and we put the input data in to get some output prediction. Whereas machine learning, uh, we already have, his, remember this is historical data, historical data. We have both input and output data. And then the machine learning model will then develop a relationship with this to develop a model, which then we could put in fresh, new, new observations, new inputs into this model. And then it will give us new predictions. Okay. Hope that makes sense. Okay. So, and make, make no mistake, we still do a lot of programming for sure. We do programming. It's not that we don't, we don't program, but our programming is more to set up a model that then learns this relationship. Okay. All right. See you in the next one.